and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, we're going over the Madden market. And as you guys do know, the NFL Top 100 cards did drop last night, and they were wide receivers. So, that did kind of destroy the market, and not just kind of, it's sort of pretty bad. If you guys didn't know what the prices were yesterday, you can go check out in the last video I did, because I did cover it, but a lot of things changed, so I feel like it's necessary to do it today. As well as I typically like throwing in the market video on Saturdays. It's always a great time to do it, especially when Legends were around, like the typical Saturday Legends, the blue cards, but still always fun to do. Hey guys, did you notice the 25 days of poop missed? Now we are two days behind on the rewards for you guys asking. I've been so busy with finals week during school and everything, like I was just pumping out these videos and getting out of here to go to the school and stuff, so I kind of forgot about it, but it's all good. I will, today, at my whatever 10.30 video I dropped there, any video today, and if I don't get to it there, I will announce it on my YouTube, um, like that post page so i'll announce both winners for that and then i'll announce the yesterday winners i have like two or three winners to announce so don't worry about it i didn't forget but to enter the 25 days of poop miss all you gotta do is subscribe to the channel like the video comment down below the secret word you hear throughout the video and your console once you do all those things you're entered to win now let's get over to the auction block to show you guys all the stuff that has come down quite significantly in price since the start of the nfl 100 drops last night and the zero trip promo in general so start with the 88 89s i don't think these would have been affected too much it's always good to check as you see there's a 39k one right there these were in the mid 40s yesterday now there you go so flashbacks are 35 so this is just a slight tick down which doesn't really matter but considering it's not even a flashback day and they started crashing it says a lot about the market right why would flashbacks come down if flashbacks didn't even come out it's because the market overall is coming down pretty heavy right now and i actually just picked up quite a few cards you can see by my uh, coin stack so expect the lineup update latest night. I did pick up a few cards with the whole crash right now, which I thought was a great idea to do. Now the 90s, Anthony Costanza was selling for 90k. I do remember that pretty vividly actually. Now, not much here really should change, but of course it will. That's just like the nature of this game. Now guys, real quick thing, I think I'm gonna, I kind of want to sell Tyree Kill. I don't know how I feel about this yet, but Tyree Kill is so expensive. Let's see what he's going for. He's 206 and. I don't know about you guys, but there's really not much value to him anymore. I mean, yeah, he's cool because he's Tyreek Hill. But, like, you compare him to anyone else. I don't want to show you guys that because I just I picked someone there. But, what's it called? If you compare him to anyone else, you are going to see that he can't catch that well. He can't really route run that well. He's really fast. But there's, like, Tory Holt's that fast. Brandon Cook's that fast. New Randy Moss is that fast. But they can catch and route run in the 90s. So, I don't really see the excitement of Tyreek Hill anymore. And he's still really expensive. I don't, I don't really know what I'm going to do with him just yet. I might end up selling. I, I love having Tyreek Hill on my team. But the beauty of him is always his speed. Now that everyone's catching up in speed. Like that's it. Everyone's going to be able to have 99 speed the next big drop. So there's, I don't really see the purpose of going that route with him. But we'll have to see as time goes on. I really don't know. It's gonna, I don't really want to get rid of Tyreek Hill. But I feel like it's just like the smartest thing to do at this point. Considering what's actually going to help my team. Now, next we got the 92s to 93s. These right here, Darius Leonard, guys, the kindling market has crashed very, very significantly, as you guys can see. Now, this says two things. This says one of two things. Either, there's just so many other cards that people don't care. Oh, so actually, three things. First, people don't care about the Zero Chill promo right now. They just, they just don't, they don't see it. They don't see this fun. Second, people truthfully don't care for the presence and they don't think any other things are going to come out, so they're selling them now. Or, a lot of people are going to start regretting this when go to presents or like a blood starts and they they, let, they sold their kindling for so cheap that's a high possibility this is kind of what happened last year not to this extent but last year was a similar thing with the 1993s they were really cheap i remember i told you guys i bought a bunch of them thinking that more kindling or like a blitz would come out and they did and i made tons of coins but the thing is, is that people this kind of happened last year but this is even cheaper than last year even last year this 9293s were still within like the 200k range so that wasn't entirely just like drop to market but this one, this specifically is. Now, if you guys ever wanted Redux cards, a lot of the Redux prices are cheap. The only ones who aren't cheap are a few of the higher priced ones, like Deion Sanders and uh, Randy Moss. That's because they're still power upable into the NFL 100 cards. But other than that, a lot of them are really, really cheap. So, if you ever want to pick up some Redux cards, now would definitely be the time. Let's go into them real quick to show you guys. I mean, the Redux cards are super cheap. Everything's just really cheap right now. Let's see, what are some good ones that you can get for pretty, pretty cheap right now? Shadavion Clowney, 194, not a bad price. Luck, 190, still one of the better quarterbacks in the game. Lane Johnson, probably the best right tackle. Well, one of the best right tackles. There's obviously the NFL 100s now. Rob Gronkowski's decent. 
Michael Vick's obviously decent. Now, Aaron Donald, Kittle. I mean, Kittle's affordable, but Aaron Donald, Randy Moss, and Lamar, and Donald, I don't know, and Dion, those are like the main four right there that you kind of want when you look at Redux cards in this range. I mean, they're still, they're still not, they're not crazy expensive, but they're definitely more expensive than you'd like to see. Let's head over to the 94, 95s. This is like the, the meat of this, of this video right here. Let's get into this and go check out everything. There's quite a bit to go over here. So first things first, let's go to the zero chill present players. Guys, these were absolutely destroyed in value yesterday. Late, these cards, good word for today is tree. Comment down below the word tree. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment your comments. Once you do all those things, you're interested to win. Good luck. We all thought it would be like 350, 400k each. 226k for Leighton Van Der Esch. And this is why McCaffrey and them are going down too, because if these cards at 94 is not that cheap, other cards have to be that cheap, especially the Ghost of uh, Future. Now, he's 226. That's super cheap. Mind you that this card isn't great. I thought it'd be better. It was horrible. It's really not good. It doesn't really have much. It has decent zone. It doesn't have, it doesn't do like anything amazing. It's kind of like decently well-rounded. Not a fan of it. But 226 for this card. Super cheap. This card, people were probably buying this for 300k yesterday. I did, I sniped this card for like 100 something k yesterday. I ended up selling it, thank God, before at like 270k before it completely crashed. I would have said if I made almost nothing on that. Next, we got Todd Gurley. Again, not a great card. I understand why he's so cheap, but typically, Kindling should still hold his value up. But since there's not much to use Kindling on right now, people could care less. And then Pat Mahomes, 253. I bought this guy for like 350 yesterday. I lost like 100K already. Now, will I use him? I don't know. I might just end up selling him back because I don't think I'm going to be able to use him. I, I want to use him. But the thing with him is that I have my Lamar Jackson. And they, this is the thing. The difference between Patrick Mahomes and Lamar Jackson Bro, I know you guys want. I know you guys been asking this question. Lamar versus Pat Mahomes. On my team specifically, Lamar powered up and chemmed up. Has the deep accuracy threshold. Has the short. Has every threshold besides medium accuracy, and he only misses that by like two or three. So, the real big difference between these two cards for me is the throw power and dash and dead eye. Those are the big differences. But here's the difference. I know you guys behind line of scrimmage. Yes, Lamar and Pat Mahomes are gonna be the same speed. But the difference is when I, I use Lamar as part of my offense as a runner, like he gets like 70 yards per game. And it's just like, I do a little, I do like some of uh, a post route. I read it. I, I juke out the, uh, the linebacker. I take it 40. That's such a, that's a game changing thing to have. Then they got to put QB spies and the, the user's always so concerned about my rushing attack. It just opens so many things. Now Pat Mahomes, they won't be concerned about your rushing attack too much. They'll be, they'll know you have escape bars, but they won't be concerned about you getting too far when you're running with it. Cause what the escape bars is fast. Once you get past on a scrimmage, he significantly slows down and goes back to his 82 speed. Now the big thing about him is dashing dead eyes. So you can definitely just run and make some crazy throws. But crazy throws, I don't think is gonna that one crazy throw per game isn't gonna save my game in comparison to the speed of Lamar Jackson. And here's the thing: the next card that Lamar gets will be the best quarterback for the rest of Madden, because the next card he gets will have like a 98 speed, plus all the throwing thresholds, plus dashing dead eye, plus potentially like human joystick, um, jukebox, and also he look he has 94 agility. If Lamar gets a few more agility and a higher overall, he could get like human joystick. Like a lot of crazy things could happen next to Lamar Jackson. So that's what I think I'm gonna end up holding on to him because he has so much potential. But Pat Mahomes did drop a lot, so for that price, he's definitely worth he's definitely worth it for the price. I just don't know if I could justify getting rid of my Lamar Jackson. But if you guys want Pat Mahomes, no arguments there. And now the last oh and JJ Watt. JJ Watt's really cheap too. I mean, I think Reggie White's better than him. But if you wanted, if you ever wanted Watt, not a bad time to get him. And now the NFL 100s, they crashed real bad. The new Steve Largen already is at 300 k We got Willie Lanier at 400k. Devin Hester at 498. Tony Gonzalez 499. Tony Gonzalez has been cheaper though, so don't don't buy him at that price. But the big ones are like Larry Fitzgerald, Dickerson's back in the 500 k range. Jerry Rice, obviously. Now the most expensive one right now is probably like Randy Moss. He did just come out, obviously, so Randy Moss is definitely really expensive. He's one of the most expensive ones. Now to the new wide receivers, if you guys are wondering who I think is a good value, um, Moss is definitely the best one. But for Moss, I use my power pass on. That's probably what I would end up doing. Put your power pass on Moss. That's what I've, I'm gonna do. I mean, my lineup update video more than likely. Steve Large is not bad. I mean, Larry Fitzgerald is really not that bad, guys. 90 speed and he gets double me X factor. I do what I recommend picking him up, not entirely, but he's not bad. And Jerry Rice is obviously amazing too. But I think right now NFL 100s, the guys that I'm picking up, like Tony Gonzalez is the guy that I'm picking up. Really cheap tight end. Maybe Randy Moss my power pass. Definitely looking at Reggie White and Taylor, but I think I'll probably end up taking Lawrence Taylor as my free power pass player. Oh no, my, my free NFL 100 player from the solos when the time comes. Probably the route I end up going there because I definitely need the new Lawrence Taylor. But other than that, I think I'm pretty solid with that, guys. But the point is, the market's crashed really, really bad. Pick up kindling, pick up players. You might as well. It's not, I can't, like, literally, guys. I told you my theory of, like, Mahomes and them. They're 94 overalls. They're 220. When 
things go back to normal 94 overalls sell for like what 300k they have to go back up so if they don't go up you make your money back they do go up and make money and if new kindling stuff like a blitz comes out now you have really cheap kindling that you can resell and make money on it's a win-win guys take advantage of that hope this video helps you guys hopefully you see this at some point earlier in the day unless we have some 10 30 content which i'm not entirely sure if we will but i will have a video up around 10 30 no matter what so guys that's it for the video remember to enter the 25 days of food miss like the video subscribe to the channel comment down below your comments on the secret word once you do all those things you're entered to win good luck i'm out see you guys next video peace